So clearly something is going on. Oh. And um, it's gross. Okay, so I am currently just hiding in my mom's pantry. Exhibit A. <laughs> it is New Year's and our celebration is always really cute. And this year we might play some games first, so it should be fun and I'll show you what we have so far. So we have some nice glasses for our sparkling apple juice and then all the snacks. When did we get this huge container? From where? Ooh. You wanna say hi, mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No words. <laughs> just a just a hard pat on the head. Yeah. Look at all the goodies. <laughs> Who's doing the countdown? Where's your glass? How nonchalant you just yeah, said it. You're like, oh, it's New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> so it's New Year's and New Year, new me? Nah. New Year's resolutions, also no. But New Year fix the things that are broken, definitely. Wanna help me? Yeah. Oh, how'd you even do this? How do we get it? Like, how do we get it? We put the mattress yeah. cover, and then we almost like put it back down. So clearly something is going on. We are getting rid of our existing mattress, even though our mattress is only three months old. And the reason is because I have been having the worst hip pain ever in my life. And I think it's because I picked the absolute wrong type of mattress, but in my defense, it was an honest mistake because here is what happened. When Parth and I moved here a year and a half ago, my sister was like, hey, if you need a temporary mattress, I have one that I'm about to get rid of and you can use it for a little bit if you want with the caveat that she did say she didn't find it comfortable she found it too soft and she felt it was sagging. And Parth and I, being who we are, we're like, yeah, okay, we'll take that mattress off your hands. Sure, free mattress, we'd love it. Now, after a year of using that mattress, my shoulder was hurting so much and I thought it was because the mattress was too soft. So when I went mattress shopping, I was like, we definitely need a firm mattress. That's what's gonna work. That's the best thing for us. We need it. Lo and behold, the issue with the original mattress was totally the fact that it was sagging, not so much that it was soft. And as a result, we picked a firm mattress and now the hip pain ensues. Now, luckily the place that we got the mattress allows us to do like a 90 day exchange. So we just went back and picked a plush one and hopefully that will be better. And hopefully that is fingers crossed what will arrive today. But part of why I'm sitting on the floor right now in this exact location is because there is another issue at hand in case you have noticed, or maybe you haven't, because I have been trying to hide it and kind of like not show it because it really bothers me in the day-to-day -day life. And so if I just scoot over a little bit, do you, do you see an issue? Because it is not an illusion what is going on here. Not an illusion. There are two stains, one on Parth's sides of the bed, one on my side of the bed, exactly where our heads go. And um, it's gross. And also I'm not exactly sure whether I'm able to fix it, but we're going to try. Just lovely, isn't it? So nice. It's definitely darker in these two areas. And honestly, it just started out with me wondering whether it was the lighting. And then I was like, no, there's definitely stains right here and right here where we lean. So hopefully we'll be able to fix it. So I have purchased this device here. 
which is essentially, I think, like an upholstery cleaner. Now, if I'm being honest, I purchased this like two months ago and just have never gotten around to using it because the learning curve factor with ADHD, you know, not the most enjoyable. However, I've decided today is the day. We're gonna figure it out, hopefully. Whatever this is. much in the container, so hopefully it won't be too challenging. Permanently remove stains instantly. Slide the flex clothes clip into the opening. You fill up this tank. Turn on, apparently, step one. Now, to be honest, this obviously wasn't an upholstery fabric, and I thought that that would be fine. Like, I'm pretty sure this would happen for an, to an upholstery fabric anyway. For the most part, it's been fine, with the exception of that issue. Although I'm now looking at where the bedside table was, it's like there's a rectangle of darkness. I'm not sure why that is the case. Maybe that will come out. Okay, so here is where I did the little spray test. It's still wet, but the parts of it that have dried, like up in here, there's no color difference. So this area is still wet. I think I'm just gonna give it a go and try and fix this. <laughs> okay, if we're ready then. I don't know that I am, but let's go for it. Eyes because if you do it as they say, sprays. It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> so I think you're meant to like go like this. You want to know something gross? The bristle head is like brown. Let's see. Oh shit. Do you see the yeah. color difference? Yep. Yeah. Good. That deep. I feel like it's psychosomatic. I do this and I think, oh, it looks even cleaner. I think you're extremely right about it being psychosomatic. How dare you say that? Check this out. Clean water. Dirty water. Yeah, look, what is all that stuff? This is the container of dirty water. Do you see how dirty this is? This is actually dis disgusting. Why is it this color? We'll never know for sure, but like. All those oils. Oh yeah, it's like dirty color. That's gross, babe. Well, look at this. It's literally just disgusting, dirty water. Hello? Hello. I'm so hungry. I know, we're going to Wendy's, we're walking. Why are we going at like? 3 p.m. No, 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 we're very late. That's all I can say. Not surprising. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta catch up. <laughs> and guess what? Our new mattress has arrived! And it literally looks the exact same as the old one, color wise and everything, I think. I think the front looks a bit different. Does it? Okay. I think it should be corrected. I think it says you're supposed to like open this pretty much right away and we'll like let it air out a little bit because it has some fumes. I already smell the fumes. Really? Yeah. You smell the fumes now, Kyle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're real bad. Boy, it smells so strong. Let me go there. Like insane. You can pull. Ah. All right. <laughs> Look at that pillow top, so plush. It, it is plush. The fumes, my throat hurts. <laughs> Who's the first one to say it this time? No, but honestly, it's <laughs> usually you. See this gray hair? Oh my gosh. I had to pull it out. Creepy. Anyway, I digress. I am currently sitting 
literally on the only chair that's available. And this is the state currently of the bedroom. A disaster. <laughs> Outside I have the headboard pieces just like sitting drying because there's still like a smell to the solution that I used and it was like getting overwhelming in here so naturally left them out there. I ended up spraying the entire thing down like on both of them because otherwise it was gonna leave a watermark. That I find is much better. The little rectangles where the side tables were, I don't think they went away at all whatsoever. So I'm guessing that has something to do with the sun. It's worse on one side than the other, but let's see how these dry up. I am crossing my fingers here that it's gonna work out and it's, everything's gonna dry perfectly. In the meantime, I wanna make sure that this doesn't happen again to the headboard because this was quite annoying and bothered me ever since I noticed it and just got progressively worse. So I wanna fix that and I have an idea for something to cover it. So hopefully I can do something quite simple. And that's my plan. So I need to go to the fabric store and I also need to get groceries and guess who I convinced to go with me? My mom. So we're gonna go in about 30 minutes. So earlier I was looking at the headboard and I remembered that like I didn't properly trim off the back pieces. And I was thinking like, oh, that's embarrassing. Like I didn't do a professional job, but you know what? I'm glad that I didn't trim it off because I need to take a little piece of it now. And now I have something to cut off. Exhibit A. We're good. Perfect little piece. So I've got my little sample here. Let's see. So this is totally the whole area many, many different kinds. And if you look close, they look like the same, but they're not actually, because the weave is different. Could this be it? I don't think so. The color's a bit different. Hmm. Maybe this one? Or maybe this one? I think I got it. it looks like a close match. I will double check with the person who works here. But I have to say, upon walking around here, I'm always so intrigued by all the different fabrics. And it reminded me, just as I was looking through and saw some pretty ones, of when I first started to sew and I sewed pajama pants. And I just instantly decided that I want to find some nice fabric for pajama pants and I'm going to sew my own. Just decided on a whim. Hopefully I'll find some that's like in the clearance section, so quite affordable. Got my fabric and a thread. Hello, Mom. Two of these every week. So I've been here looking for soya sauce and you know all that they have? This big container. And unfortunately, when you open the cap of it, it's this big of a hole. But I think I'm still gonna get it because I gave Parth a call and I said, can you look at the spout of our existing soy sauce container and see if it can like pop out the divider thing so that I can pour the soy sauce in? And then he took a knife and popped it out and he was like, yeah, yeah, that can work. So I feel like this is now gonna be a good deal. <laughs> Now this is completely unrelated, but this is my color. I love this kind of like rose dusty pink color. Oh, I love it. But also I will probably not be buying a random laundry basket for no reason. <laughs> well, I guess that would be a reason that I like the color, but not gonna happen if you know me. Some of their decor has actually improved a lot. Like take a look at this. This is nice, so is this. So I just got home and oh my goodness, it worked! All the stains are gone! It looks so good! I'm not gonna lie, when I left, this I wasn't 100% sure, but right now, wow, 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 wow. It's now nighttime and it's now time to actually install, I mean set up, I mean just lay down the box spring and mattress once again. Hopefully it will be nice to finally feel a plush mattress for the first time in three months. Parts here hiding in the corner. As always. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Mm -hmm. 
ready. so much better. It's practically perfect. But of course, this situation is obviously going to repeat itself if I don't do anything about it because we like to sit in bed and the oils from your hair and stuff just naturally are going to go onto the fabric. But obviously I want to make this avoidable for the future. And since I got the matching fabric, I have a very simple idea. I was also wondering about Scotchgard. Would that have helped to avoid the issue that I ran into? Because I actually got like three cans of Scotchgard when I first made this a year ago. It's probably still in my storage room. I just got too lazy to spray it on. And then upon further reflection, I wondered like, would that have created the block? Or is that just for like water-based liquids as opposed to oils? I don't know. If someone if someone has used Scotchgard and knows how it works, whether it's a good idea to apply, please let me know that as well. Okay, so this is my fabric here. It's actually really stiff. And if you wash it, it becomes a lot softer. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Also, there's chemicals in fabric when they come from just like the manufacturer. Same with your mattress actually. And so it's good to just like wash that out, especially cause it's something we're gonna have basically when we're in bed, so. As always, I've got my nice dust mite detergent. Okay, so I've just got my fabric out of the wash and it is literally like cardboard. If I were to show you up close what it looks like even, not soft and cuddly, I'm gonna try and iron it and see if that fixes it. This is gonna be my only option. So Parth went and grabbed the ironing board and the iron from my mom's. Cause I don't have one. It's a, a nice sound, doesn't it? sew up the top and bottom seams because the side seams already come pre-stitched which is great I didn't pin anything because I don't know where my pins are apparently I didn't pack them when I came here so we're just freehanding this and hoping for the best a little bit <laughs> hey that's pretty good especially for no pins <laughs> Okay, so I am officially done with the headboard cover. The sewing job went flawlessly, which is amazing because a lot of times, you know, things don't go to plan. Didn't have pins, still worked out great. But is this material the exact same as the headboard material? It's supposed to be. It appears to be the exact color. Does this feel the exact same? No, it's not the most enjoyable, but it's gonna do because we have an issue and this is the solution. When we're sitting in bed, it's just there to protect the headboard. That's it. And I think that's awesome. It's the exact same material. It just feels different. Who knows? I'm so pleased. <laughs>